Hello everyone, welcome back to the course on control systems. In this video, we are going to study uh, the mechanical translational systems. So in the previous lecture, we have seen about the transfer function of a system. So generally the transfer function is the mathematical representation of a system. And we have seen the transfer function of uh, open loop and closed loop systems. So the transfer function of open loop system is directly the gain, the open loop systems gain and closed loop transfer function is uh, depends on the type of feedback we give if the negative feedback is given then the transfer function is g of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s so here the g of s is nothing but the open loop system and h s is feedback component so in order to uh, derive this transfer function a physical system is to be uh, represented mathematically to model a physical system we do consider the interconnection of ideal elements so we are going to consider uh, the ideal elements uh, as the interconnection of a physical system and uh, the variables uh, in case of uh, the single port or double port in case of double port we do considering the variable through the element and the variable across the element for example, if we consider an electrical element, here uh, consider the input current that is the through variable and the output we derive the voltage across the element. So the through variable is current and the across variable is voltage or if the input variable is the voltage that is across the element then the output can be the current that is through the element so by this way we are going to consider an idealized elements that are interconnection of an elements in a physical system and by applying a laws like newton's law and kirchhoff's laws and de morgan's theorem we are going to uh, define the mathematical equations like differential equations and already uh, we know that in order to derive the transfer function we first go for a differential equation and next step is taking the Laplace transformation Laplace transform and third step is finding the transfer function as the Laplace transformation of output divided by Laplace transformation of input so in control system whenever we are going to uh, find the mathematical model or analyzing the mechanical systems we do considering translational mechanical systems and rotational mechanical systems in both the cases we are going to consider uh, basically there are three ideal translatory and rotary elements so we will study about the rotational mechanical systems uh, after uh, this translational mechanical system so first we are going to see uh, what is mechanical translational system and how do we find the transfer function then after solving few problems we will move into rotational systems translational mechanical systems as I already told you there are three ideal elements we consider in mechanical systems so they are mass spring and damper we can say another so dashboard so these three elements uh, mass element and spring element or damper element so these three elements are going to be considered uh, for analyzing any mechanical systems and by applying uh, the laws and theorems uh, by using Newton's law we are uh, finding the differential equation then followed with the Laplace transformation we finally find the transfer function of a system so in this case the mass is actually representing the weight of the mechanical system and the elastic deformation of a uh, system is actually represented by spring and finally the friction existing in a mechanical system is represented by the damper the friction that is existing in mechanical systems so the weight elastic deformation and frictional existing these are represented by these three basic uh, ideal elements mass spring and dashpot so in this case mass and spring both are energy storage elements 
that is the energy uh, can be stored or retrieved uh, without the loss here in these elements and the damper is dissipative element mass and spring so these both are energy storage elements and a uh, damper or uh, dash pot we say this is a dissipative element so the energy stored in mass element is the kinetic energy uh, that is e is equal to of mv square and in spring uh, the energy stored is actually potential energy and the energy dissipation in damper circuit is represented as p is equal to f v square these are in joules and it is watt power dissipative so we have to know uh, how these three basic ideal elements are uh, considered and represented mathematically and uh, uh, we proceed with uh, the theorems and laws so further we will design uh, the transfer function the mathematical representation of system so when we have uh, any mechanical system and uh, uh, the applied force making the system move uh, in a straight line uh, the tra translational systems and the system is actually having exist resisting forces so the resisting force when external force is applied there is a resisting force in mechanical system that are actually by these basic elements so mass spring component and dashboard component so the force acting on a mechanical system is actually governed by the newton's law newton's law of motion that is uh, mass time acceleration so three basic elements in translational system are mass spring dashboard so when an external force is applied to the mechanical system uh, the output the resulting effects are actually displacement velocity and acceleration based on the type of element uh, which are associated with the force uh, are actually resulting displacement velocity or acceleration so considering uh, we have a mass element just been neglecting other effects the spring and dashboard we say that the mass element mass ideal element is ideal element in a system and when force is applied to the system so the displacement is in the direction and there is a resisting force because of the mass element whenever uh, in an external force and the resisting force is directly proportional to the acceleration of the body so taking the proportional constant we can say m time acceleration this is the resisting force that is acting on the mass uh, element in a system when external force is applied to the system and next considering the ideal damper element the symbolic representation of uh, dashboard is like this uh, so let's say that is fixed in with the reference neglecting the effects of a mass and spring when a force is applied on the dashboard say we have a displacement in this direction of uh, where the where the force is applied and the resisting force because of the damper element is f b directly proportional to velocity of the body and taking the proportionality constant uh, so f b is b times the velocity so this is the resisting force when any external force is acting on the damper element and next in spring uh, the third basic element in a mechanical translational system is the spring so considering the ideal spring element uh, with the reference point so when force is acting on a element like uh, external force is applied to the spring and the displacement is in the direction of uh, where the force is applied so the resisting force which is acting on uh, the spring element when external force is applied that is directly proportional to displacement so taking the proportionality constant we can represent this as k time x so whenever uh, any external force is acting on uh, the idealized element like uh, mass and uh, dashboard or spring we have a uh, corresponding resisting forces uh, by mass that is uh, resisting force is equal to mass time acceleration 
resisting force due to uh, the dash pot is that is directly proportional to uh, velocity and uh, the spring uh, resisting force is directly proportional to the displacement so in this case we have considered an uh, ideal element uh, with the reference point in case uh, if force is acting on both the sides of the element uh, then the resisting force is actually the difference between these two displacements which are there in the basic elements that is so in case of uh, the displacement in both the side the difference is the resisting force acting on the body so in this case we have uh, x1 the displacement in one direction and uh, x2 uh, the displacement in another side so the resisting force in this case is fb is equal to b into x1 minus x2 the difference between two forces so we have three um, ideal elements in mechanical translational system that are mass damper and spring and these are represented um, with the reference uh, when we consider these ideal elements so we will have uh, the displacement when a force is applied in the downward direction we have uh, a displacement and that in the direction how the for external force is applied and the resisting force or uh, by using newton's law of motion we define we represent the resisting force by mass and by the dash pot that is b and in case of spring k fk fm is actually m into acceleration acceleration is nothing but the second derivative of uh, the displacement d squared x divided by dt squared otherwise uh, we can say that is m into the first derivative of velocity generally in any mechanical uh, system uh, the force f is acting on the body means uh, the effect on the body uh, may be the displacement or the velocity or the acceleration so x is displacement b velocity a acceleration and velocity is nothing but the first derivative of the displacement and acceleration is the second derivative of the displacement and in case of damper the resisting force we have seen that is fb is equal to b times velocity so v times dx divided by dt so in spring uh, the resisting force is the force acting on the body when uh, the effect of an external force is applied uh, we have k into x so the few mathematical notation we need to know when we are going to uh, study the mechanical translational system so the mathematical notations are as we have seen already uh, the displacement and velocity and acceleration so velocity the displacement unit is meter and meter per second of velocity and meter per second squared for the acceleration and we can say f is the external force externally applied force and the unit is newton and when external force is acting on a body the resisting forces fm and fb and fk so these expressions are already given here and the basic elements uh, we do consider in mechanical translational systems are mass damper and spring the unit of mass is kilogram and the unit of uh, damper element is newton second per meter and the spring element is newton per meter so so far we have uh, seen the basic elements and the, the resisting force acting on a body when the external force is applied so considering all three elements together the mass uh, that is mass spring and dash pot uh, connected with the reference point so our objective is to find uh, define the mathematical representation of whole system that is we are going to find uh, the transfer function of a system so how do we find the transfer function of the system so we know uh, using the newton's law of uh, motion uh, we do find uh, the resisting forces and by following d alambert's principle the d alambert's principle states that for any body the algebraic sum of externally applied forces and the forces resisting motion in any direction is zero so it is saying like uh, the here uh, we have uh, externally applied forces f 
and the resisting forces in this system due to mass, spring and dash part that are inertia force so inertia force is of mass element and damping force damping force by the damper element and spring force the elastic deformation the frictional coefficient is b and uh, elasticity is k and the mass weight of the body is considered uh, represented by the mass element so according to d alambert's principle if the externally applied force algebraic sum of externally applied forces and forces resisting motion the term plus fm plus fb plus fk the algebraic sum of all the forces acting on a body is actually zero so applying uh, the force equation here uh, the externally applied force is f and uh, what is the force uh, that is actually resisting by the mass element when external force is applied m into d squared x divided by dt squared that is mass into acceleration because it is resisting force in a system applying the negative sign before and the resisting forces because of the damper element is b times the velocity that is dx divided by dt because it is resisting force we do mark negative sign the same way uh, the resisting force due to this spring element that is minus k into x is equal to 0 so on the whole the force is apply externally applied force are equivalent to the resisting forces m into d squared x divided by dt square plus b into dx divided by dt plus k into x so this is how to consider uh, the ideal elements of a mechanical translational system that is mass dashboard and spring and by using newton's law of motion we find the forces acting on a body and using the d alambert's principle we form the differential equation totally acting on the body and next step is finding the laplace transformation and then we can proceed with the transfer function of the system so taking a laplace transformation of uh, the displacement we have x of s and laplace transformation of the velocity that is dx by dt is s into x of s this is the ma basic mathematical we have to know so taking laplace transformation of second derivative of displacement is s square x of s so this is the basic uh, introduction in mechanical translational system and in the next video uh, we can see how do we formulate uh, uh, the differential equation of a mechanical translational system and uh, finding the transfer function thank you